Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ebony Bowler, where we talk business, faith, and finances. Today, we're going to talk about are you thriving or are you surviving? Financial tips that work during tough times. I'm extremely excited. I am going to put an article down below in the descriptions where I got this title from. And also, I'm going to give you what the author says, but also my take on it. Yes, I have worked in finances for years. I used to be a stockbroker. I currently own an insurance agency that's doing really well and also have another business. Uh, but why I'm most excited today before we get into the article is thank you so much to all my wonderful subscribers. I am now a YouTube a uh, partner program. I'm entered into that program, meaning my videos will allow me to start monetizing, which is great because that's another source of income for me. That's something I've always wanted. I work really hard at my videos. I am a little bit of a novice, so just bear with me on these videos, okay? The lighting may need to be better. Some of the uh, editing may be better, but I'll get there. But let's get to why we talk. you came to the channel today, right? So from the article, Something he says that wows me is they say if you look, took all of the wealth in the world and spread it evenly among all the people within 50 years, 82% of the people would be in the same economic position as they are today. Wow, that alone article is mind-blowing. And he's, the author goes on to say this is because wealth is behavior-based and less dependent on outside factors than you may realize. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gonna have to read that for yourself. I'm not even gonna repeat it, even though it's worth repeating. Times are tough financially for most people. This is what the author says. That's no news, so true. What's important is learning how to thrive instead of just learning to survive. So here's some tips that he gives you um, about it in the article. I'm gonna let you read all the tips he give you, but I'm gonna give you my tips for each topic, but I'm taking these topics or points from the article. But then I'm putting a twist on it because I wanna tell you from my standpoint how I have been able to get to a place of thriving where I have lived years and years in a place of surviving. So the first thing the author says is to invest in yourself. And again, I'll let you go into the article to read more about what he says about investing in yourself. But I'm gonna tell you how I invest in myself. There are several ways. One, I educate myself and that's very, very uh, close to what he's saying. You know, I love the analogy he gives. He talks about the stockbroker, um, the author. I don't know if it's a he. I keep saying a he. It sounds like a male's name. I don't know. He or she. But the author talks about investing in your own self, meaning you can't just go by what a financial planner says or stockbroker. Nothing against them. Again, I used to be one but you need to educate yourself. And that's something that I'm big on, always learning, always getting books, always reading, always trying out new things to see what works and what doesn't work. And also investing in myself by paying myself first. I do that. So every time I get money, I put a certain percentage, at least 10%, into either a CD or either into my investment account where I trade stocks and bonds, but I make sure I invest in myself first. So that's my tip for you in the portion of investing in yourself. It's to educate yourself and to pay yourself first. Again, when you get the article, you can read it and see what the author says about investing in yourself. Number two, the other topic that the author gives is to cut back. I agree wholeheartedly with this. I wrote a financial curriculum. I will be offering that to you all in the future. But for right now, I do want to tell you that saving is one of my biggest things that I do have in the article. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that. It sounds like a disease. It sounds like an allergic reaction. People get upset because they think they're going to have to cut back so tremendously to where they won't be able to live a good life. But that is not the case. A lot of us over, over, over indulge. We have 10,000 subscriptions to all types of stuff. Stuff we barely read, we barely use, we double buy, triple buy, we lose stuff in the house and have seven pairs of this and 10 pairs of that. It's ridiculous. So cutting back really is easy breezy if you really want the financial wealth that we all say we want, right? So ways that I say is say same thing, cut back, save. Again, I tell you how I did it every time I get a piece of money. 
whether it's for me, I get commissions because again, I have a business, I do insurance. So when I get my commissions every month, I get so many throughout the month, I make sure that I go over and put money either into my CDs or either I put money into um, my stock trading account to trade some stocks. All right, bring in more bacon. Yes, 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 that's what the author says. I like to say when he talks about, he or she talks about bringing in more bacon, I agree. I've always said, have several streams of income. That's something that I do. That's something that I have. I uh, have just in the insurance industry alone, I've got several, about four different sets of income. I sell life insurance, I sell health insurance, I sell Medicare insurance, and I also sell annuities. And then the last one um, is business insurance. So actually five streams of income just in my uh, insurance industry. That also my husband and I have another business. We have an auto detailing and power washing business. That's another source of income. And there are several ways in there that we earn income. And then also number seven now is um, having um, this YouTube channel. Now that my channel is at a monetization state to where I'm going to be able to actually uh, offer you all some different things, um, be able to uh, work with some different companies when those options become available to me, uh, that's going to be my seventh source of income. So yeah, bring in more bacon. The next one he has is save. I know that's the cutback and the save. I said it a little different, but to me it's kind of similar because if you're cutting back like you're spending less then you're going to have more money available so i would think it's automatic to save it but not always people do spend it so i agree with the author here save 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 i gave you some tips on how i save if you're just horrible at saving there are some platforms there are some banks that i know of that you can automatically in direct deposit your money into the bank account and then they have these separate little buckets that can actually move money automatically you can have it already set up where you say 10% goes to say my uh, vacation fund, 5% goes to my petty cash fund or, or um, spending account, another 10% goes towards like if you have a child's college or something. So th those options are out there. If you don't know of any banks, um, yeah, you can hit me up in the comments and I'd be glad to give you one or two that I know of that's really good with helping you if you struggle with saving. Um, kind of like the 401k, how the money goes in to your 401k before you get your paycheck so you don't even miss that money. It's kind of the similar concept, but with a regular bank account that you can do that with, where they have different buckets to put money in. I think it's ingenious for you all who struggle saving. And the last one is staying motivated. I love when the author says, this because it does get tough and I'm getting ready to end the video here but I can tell you I do struggle sometimes with staying motivated because it is tedious for me I'm always looking at my accounts pretty much daily that's the reason why um, I'm so blessed that I'm able to catch any scam type activity because I look at my accounts every day I have several alerts so I get emails alerts I get text message alerts when my balances in my accounts hit a certain level whether it goes below a certain threshold or goes above a certain threshold um, and I say above because with investing if the money's if your investments are doing well it can go above the threshold so if you have it set for you know your balance account limit is five thousand and then now it's six thousand you get an alert or say for your savings account if you want to keep a balance of three thousand dollars in there or ten thousand dollars or whatever again i'm more of a risk taker so i don't leave my money sitting somewhere where i'm not going to get some good interest um, return back on that not telling you to do that but i hope this video blessed you if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like my channel share my channel hit the notification bell so you know more about when i make videos please please leave me some comments i want you all to engage i want to be able to start offering lives but i'm not going to do that if i'm just going to be on a live by myself and there's crickets if i at least have one that's the motivation if i have 10 that's more of a motivation so hint hint start engaging in my channel so that i can start doing lives so i can answer your questions and help you get to the financial goals that you desire which is to arrive and not just survive thanks again and to all my bffs y'all know who y'all all are my business faith and finance friends i love you do the very best that you can do and after you've done all you can do that's all you can do Mwah.